What is up everyone? This is Loans and I'm bringing you another Madden 18 video. And in today's video, just like the last two videos that I've done, which were what if every starting quarterback and what if every starting running back in the NFL were free agents, we're going to be going around to the other side of the ball this time and seeing what if every starting middle linebacker in the NFL was a free agent. So if you haven't seen those last two videos that I've done, I'll make sure to have a link down in the description below to a playlist and you can check those out if you like this one. As you can see, we are rocking with the Panthers today and they do not have a starting middle linebacker. They have this guy, Ben Jacobs, never heard of him, and is their starting middle linebacker. Head over to free agents and as you can see, all the starting middle linebackers are right here. So I've also um, turned off salary cap. I don't know if that's been an issue in the last few videos, uh, but it could have been. So I made sure to turn that off. We're going to go ahead and simulate through the preseason and see who got picked up. So here we are at the beginning of the regular season and we didn't sign a middle linebacker. That's kind of weird. Uh, just like in the running back video, uh, a lot of teams didn't sign running backs until the first couple weeks. I'm not really sure why that is. We'll go ahead and see if anybody got signed anywhere. Eric Kendricks went to the Raiders. Uh, Mark Barron with the Rams. Derek Johnson on the Ravens. Mason Foster. Redskins, Mante Teo is with the Saints. Uh, the Seahawks took Jarrell Freeman. Uh, Vince Williams is with the Steelers. Brian Cushing is still on the Texans. And a lot of these guys, I have no idea who they are. So if they're on different teams, I'm not really sure. Uh, Avery Williamson is with the Titans. The Vikings grab CJ Mosley. Danny Trevathan is still with the Bears. Uh, Kevin Minter is with the Bengals. Ryan Chazier went to the Bills. Todd Davis is on the Broncos. Vincent Ray is with the Browns. Uh, the Bucks grabbed Perry Riley Jr. Carlos Dansby is with the Cardinals. Dante Hightower is on the Chargers. The Chiefs went with Rameek Wilson. Uh, Luke Keekley went to the Colts, so that'll be an interesting one. Oh, Bobby Wagner is on the Cowboys. That'll be an interesting one, too. Uh, Ray Malaluga is with the Dolphins. I don't know if he's on the Dolphins right now or not. Uh, Quan Alexander went to the Eagles. Zach Brown with the Falcons. Jalen Smith with the 49ers. Dayon Buchanan is on the Giants. The Jags picked up Deion Jones. I don't know if they picked him up or not. Wait, what? Uh, Navarro Bowman is now a Jet. Jordan Hicks is a Lion. Uh, Blake Martinez is still with the Packers. Ben Jacobs with the Panthers, which is where we started. So let's see who's still a free agent. So it's looking like everybody, almost everybody got picked up. Alec Ogletree was the starter for the Rams. I think Jake Ryan was the starter for the Packers. It's interesting. I wonder if some teams picked up two because I don't remember seeing Deion Jones. Okay, so I went back and looked on Deion Jones on the Jags. I remember pointing him out now and saying I didn't know if he was on the team or not. I don't know why I would say anything like that. Just dumb on my part. But anyway, he's on the Jags, so we're good. Uh, we'll go ahead and head back and start the simulation and see who wins the Super Bowl. We're at the end of the season. We're going to run through and check stats really quick. It looks like the Falcons went 10-6. and six. Uh, The Panthers went 7-9. and nine. Uh, So that's about what they normally do in the simulations. So we had Ben Jacobs with 126 tackles, one interception. David Harris, 104 with five interceptions. Eric Kendricks with 133 tackles and one interception. Uh, Mark Barron with 126 tackles, one interception. 
Robert Quinn had a really good year. Uh, Derek Johnson had 112 tackles. He had eight interceptions. That's a lot. Uh, Mason Foster had 145 tackles with five interceptions. Monte Teo had 153 tackles, one interception. Darrell Freeman with 139 and four interceptions. Vince Williams had 134 tackles with one pick. Brian Cushing had 148 tackles with three picks. Uh, Avery Williamson had 129 tackles, two picks. CJ Mosley had 110 with four. Danny Trevathan with 140 tackles, one interception. Kevin Minter had 125 tackles, two interceptions. Ryan Chazier had 121 and four picks. Vaughn Miller is also not a middle linebacker. Todd Davis had 102 with one. Vincent Ray had 146 and five picks. Pretty good for the Browns. Perry Riley Jr. had 123 with one. Um, Hassan Reddick had 98 with one interception. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't think he was the starting middle linebacker. Uh, Dante Hightower had 107 with one. Ramik Wilson had 121 and three picks. Uh, Bobby Wagner had 139 tackles and one interception, and Sean Lee actually outperformed him. Uh, Ray Malaluga had 119 tackles, one interception. Quan Alexander had 136 with two. Uh, Zach Brown had 107 and three. Jalen Smith had 119 and one interception. Deion Buchanan had 130 with one interception. Deion Jones had 156 with six interceptions. I think that might be the best play we've actually seen out of a middle linebacker. Uh, Navarro Bowman had 141 and two interceptions. Jordan Hicks had 129 and seven interceptions. Blake Martinez with 117 and one pick. And that We'll end that and we'll go ahead and check standings. So the Packers ended up with the best record in the league, followed by the Chargers and the Eagles, uh, the Lions and the Seahawks, uh, the Jags and Patriots went 11 and five. Falcons, Bills, Texans, Ravens and Bengals went 10 and six along with Steelers and then the Cards went nine and seven. So the Steelers did not make the playoffs as a 10 and six team. And the Bears had the worst record in the league, followed by the Giants, Bucks, Jets, Browns, 49ers, and the Cowboys are actually down there this time, but it's pretty consistent with what we normally see as the worst teams. And the Super Bowl was a Falcons and Patriots rematch, this time with the Falcons winning 34 to 20. Uh, Matt Ryan threw two touchdowns, one interception. Tom Brady also threw for two also threw for two touchdowns, had no interceptions. And we'll see if the defense did anything. Um, David Harris for the Patriots had 11 tackles, no picks. Um, Malcolm Butler actually had the pick. And Zach Brown for the Falcons only had five tackles. And that was really it. And that's going to wrap this video up. Um, as we saw losing a middle linebacker picking up a different one really didn't affect the teams too much the good teams stayed good the bad teams stayed bad you know that one player didn't really make that much of a difference but if you like this video make sure to check out my other madden what if videos i'll have a link to a playlist in the description below make sure to also hit that like button and subscribe for more regular madden 18 content thanks for watching